Hello, welcome to the Cloud Factory. My name is Sandy and today I'm going to teach you how to make all these kind of colors you are seeing in the screen. This will be a long video, so in the description box below I am giving you the direct link to every color so you don't have to watch everything. If you don't want, you can choose or in case you want to watch again one specific color, you have the links there. So now let's make some coffee, take a seat and let's get started. The first color I will show you how to make is a Chinese color. So stay with me and let's see how to make it. Pin together your front part of your blouse or dress with the lining piece. And here in this part in the neckline I will mark 5 inch for this design. Then I draw like a half drop shape and I am cutting considering space for stitches. You can make any design you want for your neckline. Then attach the lining and close the shoulders. And once you have it ready, we will uh, measure the neckline hole all this long. Just take your measuring tape and starting from here, put it all along the neckline to get the exact measurement finishing the other side and with the half of this measurement you have to make your pattern for the Chinese collar. Take a piece of fabric enough to cut your collar, fold it by the middle and press it in this way, then fold it again and press it to mark the folds perfectly. Then here I have a double fold and I will put my pattern here and pin it Then cut considering one centimeter for stitches. You can draw the line of the stitches to be more exact if you don't have practice making colors. Remove the pattern and you will get these two pieces. Set the interface first and then over it put your boat color pieces facing right sides of the fabric in this way. Pin it together and stitch all the contour except for the bottom part. This one we will leave it open. I'm going to start stitching one centimeter from the edge here. And when you are stitching the curved part, do it slowly, otherwise the fabric can get twisted and ruin your work. And in the other side, I will stop also one centimeter before the edge. Then we will cut the excess of interface. Remove the pins and make these cuts in the curved parts. Fold it to the other side. You can press it if you want, but I will give a stitch here in the edge. So if you give this a stitch also, no need to press it now. Once you finish, you will have this. Now you can embroider it or decorate it as you want. I am using some decorative stitches, but this is completely up to you. And you have it. Now in your dress, mark the center point in the back piece, like this. And also mark the center point of your color. Now take the part with the interface, like this. Match it with the center point and pin it all along one side of your neckline. And once you're done, pin to the other side. 
then give a stitch here to attach it. Once you give that stitch, you will have this. Now in this part, this corner, we will cut it. Don't cut too much. Then fold the seam to the inside part of the collar and cover it with this fabric. Make a fold like this. Thread your needle and we will give an invisible stitch by hand. You can also give a stitch with the sewing machine, but I like this more because it looks more, uh, I don't know, like perfect and neat in this way. Then press it, and there you have it. You only have to add a button or a closer. I will add these Chinese knots. If you can't uh, find it near of you, in another video I will show you how uh, you can make it. It looks perfect for this kind of necklines. You can paste it with fabric glue or stitch it. And that's it, your Chinese collar is ready. Now let's see how to make a half Chinese collar. I have my back and front pieces here. The back part I cut it only following the uh, simple pattern, the basic pattern, and the front part also, but I made a V-shaped neckline. Then facing right sides of your fabric, close the shoulders. And make your pattern for a half Chinese collar. Fold your fabric by the middle and again by the middle. Set your pattern in the double folded fabric side and pin it. Cut it considering one centimeter for stitches. And I will also cut some strips of fabric for the binding of my neckline. Remove the pattern and you will have two pieces like this. In one piece I will attach adhesive interface. Just put it on the interface and press it. Then cut the excess of interface and there you have it. This piece is with interface and I will set it in this way, matching the right sides and I will sew all around, avoiding the bottom part. And also I will stop sewing one centimeter before the edge of the fabric. Open it, turn it out and press it again. Now I will make the binding for the V-shaped neckline. Only in the front part. Remember we have a video for this, if you don't know how to make it, I will give you the link in the description box of this video. Once you have it, we will attach the half collar. Open it like this. Mark the center point of your collar. And also mark the center point of the back neckline part. Matching these marks with this side, with the interface, put it together 
and I start pinning from the center to one side and then from the center to the other side. Give a stitch there and you will have this. Now we will close it in the same way we close the Chinese collar. Fold the seams to the inside part of the collar, cover it with the other piece of fabric in this way. Make a fold here and give a stitch. You can also use the um, invisible stitch by hand or also with sewing machine. This time I will do it with the machine to show you. Choose the same color of your fabric for your thread. And once you finish, your half color is ready. Next color to learn is um, mandarin or white binding. I have here the back part of my dress and here I have the front part and I cut a strip of fabric 6 cm wide and long enough and I will attach adhesive interface on it then I cut the excess of interface, fold it by the middle in this way and press it again. And there you have it. Now I will work with my front piece, fold it by the middle and here I will mark half inch and here I will mark 13 inch but it's up to you, you mark as much as you want. My binding now is 4 cm adding space for stitches, so those 4 cm, the half I will mark it here, means 2 cm, draw this line and then join these points. And I will cut this part considering one centimeter for stitches. And I will have this. Now pin it with the back part and cut the excess of fabric in the back neckline. It's about, it's the half inch we marked before. And now we will stitch the shoulders facing right sides of fabric. And once you have it, open it. Set your binding in this way to calculate how much you will need. Take it longer and cut the excess. Also cut the excess of interface in the binding. And then in the right side of your fabric on your dress, we will attach it in this way, sewing all around. Start the stitching one centimeter below the edge of the opening part in your front uh, piece. And also stop stitching one centimeter below in this way. Now in this part, open it and here we will mark these angle lines from the stitch to the corner and cut it. Then fold your binding in this way and the excess of fabric put it inside, overlapping them 
like this. Open the front part and we will give a stitch here. Like this. Cut the excess of binding. And now these uh, seams, you can finish it as you want. You can add binding. I made a zigzag stitch emulating the overlock machine. And that's it. Your white binding or mandarin color is ready. Now let's make a shirt color. For this one, you will need one piece for the back part and two pieces for the front part. I have my patterns here. This is the color foot and this is the color. And I will cut it apart. Cut in this way. Then fold your fabric by the middle and again by the middle. That will give you four layers of fabric. And here in the folded part, I will pin my patterns and cut it, considering a space for stitches. Both pieces. And there you have it, two pieces of each one. Now cut a piece of interface, enough to cover your both pieces. And we will attach it in this way. First the interface and then the color pieces facing right sides of the fabric and pin it and sew all over here and leave this part open. Then cut the excess of interface Turn it out and press it. Now for the foot color, I will pin one of my pieces to interface. I will cut the excess of interface. Then in this part with the interface, this one, I will put it here, the piece which I pinned to the interface in this way. Look the shape. And then the other one facing right sides of fabric, I will put it down. So I will have this piece, right side, then my color, and then the second piece also matching right sides. Now we will sew from here all this line and finish here. Now open it in this way. And press it. Attach the shoulders. Open it. Mark the center in the collar and also in the back piece. Match it and pin it. First pin from the center to one side 
and then pin from the center to the other side. Now we will sew from here. Once you have it, remove the pins and now fold the seams to inside and cover it with this piece of fabric. Make a fold and give a stitch here. It can be an invisible stitch made by hand or also by machine. I will make it by machine this time. And once you finish, we will give a stitch in all the um, edge of my seams in this way. And there you have it, your shirt color is ready. Now we are going to make a Peter Pan color. For this you will need your back part in two pieces and then work as you want uh, with buttons and buttonholes. I made some uh, button loops here. Then facing right sides of fabric we will attach the shoulders first. Open it. And we will transfer the shape in a piece of paper. Just set it like this and draw it. And you will get this. Now cut it. And once you have this piece, fold it by the middle to get this one. And here we will trace our pattern. Once you have your pattern, we will cut four pieces of this. So fold your fabric in four layers, pin your pattern, and cut the pieces, considering one centimeter extra. And then cut two pieces of interface, enough to cover your color pieces. And we will attach it in this way. The two pieces of our colors facing right sides of fabrics on the interface, but first consider the following. One side of the collar is going to the front part of your blouse and the other side is going to the back part of your blouse. So keep that in mind, mark it if you need it. So for one color piece, you have to set it like this, front here and back. And the other you have to set it in the opposite side. Here the back part and obviously here is the front part. Then pin it to the interface and sew all over this line. And here we will leave it open. I will cut the excess of interface. Make some cuts all around because this collar is curved. Turn it out and press it. Then we will attach it first in the wrong side of our blouse. But first check which piece is going to every side of your blouse. Set it like this. The interface side it will be down facing with the fabric of your blouse. Here I have the front part of my colors and here I have the back part. Now open one piece of fabric in the collar and pin it in this way. And we will sew by here. Once you sew it, unpin it, make some cuts on the seams, then fold the seams to inside, cover it with the other piece of fabric and make a fold. 
and give him an invisible stitch by hand. For this color I really recommend the invisible stitch instead of the machine stitch because it will look so neat like this once you've finished. Now fold it to the right side of your blouse and press it and do exactly the same process with the other piece of color. And there you have it, this is the front part and this is the back part of your Peter Pan collar. Now let's see how to make a Neru or Mao collar. Here I have my back piece and here the front. This one I will fold it by the middle and I will mark the fold with my nail like this. Then in this line I will mark 7 inch but you can mark as much as you want and trace this line and I will cut to make this open part. Now I will trace two strips of fabric 6 cm wide and 9 inch in length that you have the information on the screen to trace yours if you want something different like wider or thinner. Then here I will trace the lines for my stitches is one centimeter from every edge in this way and I will cut and you will have this. Here I have one centimeter for stitches, here I have four centimeters and here I have one centimeter for stitches. Both are the same. Now attach adhesive interface in both of your strips of fabric. This is to make the plackets of your blouse. Then fold the one centimeter for stitches and press again then fold in this way two centimeters leaving apart the centimeter for stitches here I have two centimeters and then I have one here then press it and you will have this if I fold it, I have the white of my placket and here I have one centimeter to stitch it. Do the same with the other one. And now we will attach it here in the open part we made. Set it in this way. Leave uh, about one inch in the top and one inch in the bottom part. Open it and pin it the same with the other one then we will stitch by here you can't see in camera maybe but here I have the line I draw before I can see it because the interface is kind of transparent so I will sew first by here in both sides and I will stop stitching one centimeter after the slit finished in this way you can see here my slit is there and I stop stitching one centimeter down now we will cut in the same way we cut for our wide binding from here in angle line and from here in angle line stopping in the point of, of, of my stitch and once you have it like this turn it to the other side this is the right side and here I have the triangle we got by cutting before now bring your plackets to the right side of your blouse open it like this Fold the seam inside, close it and pin it 
and also the other one. And first I will give a stitch here in this placket in the edge and I have to stop here one centimeter after the end of the slit once you have it is like this now put it in the wrong side just get it inside and fold the triangle also if you open it you will have this the placket and the triangle on it now here and we will give a stitch here to attach the triangle with the placket once you have it you will get something like this now for this placket I will give a stitch here in the edge in the inside part then I will get this now overlap it on the other placket and finish the extreme here you can make a triangle folding and stitching the edge or just make a fold and stitch straight making a rectangle and then make an X shape with stitches also I will do that and there you have it the plaquettes are ready now let's attach the collar Close your shoulders first, then open the piece and measure this part, the neckline, hole. Take the half of that measurement and with that trace your pattern. Now fold your fabric in four layers. Here I have one folded part and here I have two layers of single pieces of fabric pin your pattern and cut it remove the pattern and you will have two pieces like this cut another piece in adhesive interface and attach it to one piece of your collar then facing right sides, attach it to the other piece, sewing by here, and here we will leave it open as usual. Once you sew it, make some cuts on the seams, only in the curved parts. Turn it out and press it. Then we will attach it like this. This one start attaching by here in one extreme because the bottom part of our collar is straight so no problem attach it all around I am pinning, pinning it first then we will sew all around this line and once I have it I am removing the pins and I will work exactly the same way like I did in my other collars fold like this then give a stitch here as you wish it can be by hand or by machine I will do it by machine this time and there you have it your Neru or Mao collar is ready you only have to make buttonholes and attach the buttons and that's it